Hello one and all, let us see the performance of forward linear predictor. Linear prediction is a very important topic in advanced digital signal processing or in digital signal processing with uh, lot of applications associated with it. Let us see the problem of linearly predicting the value of a random process, stationary random process, the sample value of a stationary random process either in forward direction uh, forward in time or backward in time let us predict it ok. Uh, let us see uh, begin with the problem of predicting future value of a stationary random process from the observation of past samples of the process. In particular we consider one step forward linear predictor what does it mean? Uh, it is the prediction of a value sample amplitude x of n from a weighted linear combination of the past samples x of n minus 1, x of n minus 2, x of n minus 3, x of n minus p. So, linearly predicting a value x cap of n is equal to minus summation k is equal to 1 to p a p of k x of n minus k. The set of a p of k minus a p of k represents the weights in a linear combination. So, the weights are all called as prediction coefficients for the one step forward linear predictor of order p. So, the negative sign in the definition of x of x cap of n is for mathematical convenience which conforms the current practice the technical literature. The difference between the value original value of x of n and the predicted value x cap of n is called in the name of forward prediction error f p of n. So, f p of n is equal to x cap of n sorry x of n and x cap of n the difference between it. So, it will become some x of n summation k is equal to 1 to p a p of k x of n minus k. It can be even further more merged like summation starts from k is equal to 0 to p a p of k into x of n minus k with assumption that a p of 0 is equal to 1. So, we have to view linear prediction as an equivalent to linear filtering where the predictor is an m is a portion embedded in a linear filter p prediction error filter with the input sequence x of n and output sequence is f p of n. The diagram is given here x of n x of n minus 1 applied as an input through a forward linear predictor which produces the difference between x cap of n and x of n as the output f p of n. So, x of n is the input f p of n is the output sequence. So, this is called a p prediction error filter ok. So, the a what is a p of z? When once you know the sequence a p of k uh, multiplying each coefficient by z power minus appropriate term and taking the sum of all those values. So, sum, uh, summation k is equal to 0 to p a p of k z power minus k is called in the name of uh, a p of z it is called the system function direct form f a r filter system function. So, we will show you the equivalent realization of the prediction error filter direct form f a r filter with the system function a p of z. So, direct form f i r filter is equivalent to all 0 lattice filter all 0 lattice filter. So, the lattice filter is generally described by the following set of order recursive equations f naught of n g naught of n is equal to x of n f m of n and g m of n both of them are to be obtained appropriately from the previous f m minus 1 of n plus k m into g m minus 1 of n minus 1 where m is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 etcetera up to p. g m of n is equal to k asterisk f m minus 1 of n plus g m minus 1 of n minus 1. So, this can be brought into a butterfly structure order recursive equations lattice filter k m are all called as reflection coefficients and g m of n is called backward prediction error. 
So for complex valued data, the conjugate of Km is used in the equation for Gm of n, Km asterisk. Similarly, we shall see the stage-wise implementation of lattice filter block diagram. Right? P stage. X of n is equal to G naught of n and F of G naught of n and F, F naught of n. It will be applied as an input to first stage and the first stage will produce F1 of n and G1 of n and G1 of n and F1 of n are applied through second stage. Again, second stage from second stage F2 of n and G2 of n are produced. Likewise, it is called as P stage lattice filter in block diagram format. Okay, so as a consequence of the equivalence between the direct form prediction error filter and the FIR lattice filter, the output of the P stage is expressed in terms of a convolution sum. Before that, let us see the butterfly structure available here. Fm minus one of n, Gm minus one of n applied through z power minus 1 so that you will get a gm minus 1 of n minus 1 will be multiplied by km to produce uh, fm of n so la p stage lattice filter will be produced like this where this fp of n is equal to as i told you already summation k is equal to 0 to p a p of k x of n minus k where a p of 0 a p of 0 is equal to 1 it is a convolution sum. So, the relationship between the convolution sum and the z transform may be a p of z is equal to a p of z multiplied by x of z. So, you can understand what is a p of z, it is a p of z divided by x of z or you know that x of z is equal to simply f naught of z. So, it will become a f p of z divided by f naught of z. The mean square value of the linear prediction filter is given by epsilon p of f is equal to expectation of f p of n the whole square. So, f p of n the whole square will be expressed as gamma x x of 0 plus twice that of the real value of summation k is equal to 1 to p a p asterisk of gamma x x of k plus summation k is equal to 1 to p summation l varies from 1 to p a p asterisk of l and a p asterisk of e gamma x x of L minus 1. So, epsilon p of f is a quadratic function of predictor coefficients and its minimization leads to a set of linear equations. The linear equations are all gamma x x of L is equal to summation k is equal to 1 to p right a p of k gamma x x of L minus k. These are all called normalization normalized normal equations for the coefficients of the linear predictor. So, the minimum of this mean squared error filter is simply reduced to reduced to gamma x x of 0 plus summation k is equal to 1 to p a p of k gamma x x of minus k. Here you can notice this relates autocorrelation coefficients with the filter parameters normal equations of linear filter. Thank you.